Hello everyone, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on UFT. This is Nish Kumar Singh and you're watching UFT tutorial series. Today we'll be moving into the next topic on UFT which is uh, output value. Uh, the output values are generally substituted to the checkpoints where checkpoint is one of the way by which you define the expected value and uh, compare the actual value during the runtime. But whereas output value is something which can help you to retrieve a runtime value from the application and uh, put it somewhere wherever you want to paste it. So generally the source would be your data table inside the UFT itself where you can generally store the value and that could be uh, used in a later point of time to further fetch it somewhere else or maybe add values to your execution. So generally these uh, values can be stored in terms of evaluating the result during the runtime as well that what exactly was the value on the screen when uh, it was busy executing a big framework and so. And generally these output values can be stored in form of values in data table which can be exported at any point of time in form of Excel or even when your execution stops you can come to the result window and have a look on what exactly the values you were looking for. If you want you can also create your custom checkpoint by defining certain parameters in your data table which will allow you to compare the runtime value with a certain expectations. So for each checkpoint what you see on the screen right now for every single checkpoint what we have understood about we have an output value except the other two like bitmap and accessibility checkpoint we do not have an output value. That means you cannot retrieve a uh, image or bitmap value from the runtime application and obviously uh, accessibility information which is just to check if the uh, page has uh, W3 standards uh, which uh, complies with it or not. So generally accessibility checkpoint is to check uh, what data or what data you have put in your web page the web page follows the W3 standards or not. So uh, there's nothing generally to extract from there. So we do not have output value for accessibility as well. So except these two, you have everything else. So let's, let's, let's quickly move to a new test and have a look at what exactly I'm talking about. So all right, we have got a new test here which we will try to understand uh, with uh, what exactly output value is all about. So uh, just to quickly show you that what output values we were talking about, you can just click on the record button here and uh, you can come to the checkpoint option and here you can see all the respective output values. And here for almost every checkpoint, what you have understood, we have got a output value for that. That means uh, this can allow you to <coughs> retrieve a value from the runtime. But uh, when you look at bitmap checkpoint, it's an image retrieval which cannot be stored as a part of data table and cannot be fetched inside again if required. So we do not have a checkpoint for that. And this is to basically comply with the W3 standards of the web pages and does not have an output value which is accessibility. So uh, that's, that's what we have got from you to explain you on the types of uh, output values. But of course, uh, we will see one after the other, each one of them. And the very first thing what we're trying to understand is the universal one, that is standard checkpoint. So I'll be having a different tutorial to make you understand about the uh, data table, uh, which may be after this, where we will be getting started with understanding on the data table. But uh, as of now, we will just uh, excuse that and uh, we will get into the output values. So all I would need is an application again and quickly get started with uh, recording which would need some data to be inserted in a particular field and then try to extract it in terms of uh, uh, exporting options. So here say for example I mention the username and I try with the password. If you want you can just retrieve that but accept the password. It will be encrypted value. You cannot retrieve the real password using this. Uh, that would be then called as a hacking tool rather than automation testing tool. So say okay and you're here. Uh, let me just quickly change some values. So that just creates a trust that it is not predefined. So let us have some values in tickets and say three. And then let's come to the checkpoint or the standard output value. As I told you earlier, uh, standard output value is uh, one of these universal output value where it can be applicable to any application, any object with multiple properties. So as you would deal with any type of properties, you can extract it. So just have to select the standard output value here and then select the object which you want to capture. So click on this, which is the fly from city and say okay. 
And here are the list of all the values which you want to, or which you can extract using this uh, output value. But let's say what we are interested in, maybe uh, we want to extract the text or the selected value. So we call it as selection as the property name, which we want to extract. And here is the details where it will get stored. So generally we have an inbuilt data table and there is a column which will be created by default on this name and it will be in the global sheet. If you wish to change the column name as per your desire, you can click on modify and change the settings like which should be environment parameter or data table, what should be the name of the column. So maybe I can give it as a user friendly name which would be easy. So you can customize it but it should be a string. That means the space are not allowed as a part of it. And you can change between global and local sheets. I'll tell you what exactly it is. Stay tuned for that. Say OK and uh, say OK again. So this will add this step. You want, you can add for more objects. But just to understand, I'll add one more. You select the standard checkpoint, click on Sydney here, and say OK. Uh, I'm, I'm picking up the selection to extract and save. Click on modify. If you wish to modify, it's not mandatory step is subjected, you want to make it as per the naming conventions. Say OK, and uh, again, once more, OK. And that's all. You can close the application if you want, and then stop recording. And you will be having the entire script with you. And here are certain uh, steps on the output value. So for the checkpoint, it will say check checkpoint, followed by the parameter name. And here it will say output space checkpoint, followed by the parameter name or the output value name. So this will basically create uh, a column on the name of the parameter what you have created. So for that you have to just come down and here is the data tape and you can see that the two columns are already created but they are empty. So no matter we have selected Portland and Sydney here, uh, it won't capture. The reason is this is a runtime extraction. So during your test is being executed, uh, whatever value it gets during runtime it will capture and store. So this will be a runtime data table at that point of time and it will capture the information during the runtime and show you as output uh, during the, uh, after the completion of the execution. So let's keep an eye on this and see how exactly we get it. So all I'm going to give it is an application which we used and click on run. So while execution, if you want, you can switch between the data tab and so. So you can see that there was a pop-up Portland and Sydney. But yes, team, it will be very quick if you can really do that. You can see during runtime only, not after the execution as well. Then where do you see the results? You have to come to the result, of course, and there is a column called as data. So capture data is actually the snapshot of the error messages during the runtime. So if you remember in the checkpoints, you got the snapshot of the uh, window of the application in capture data. And the data is the tab where you will find your uh, runtime execution thing. Just uh, one more time by changing the values, just to say what exactly we have. Say, for example, I've got Frankfurt. And uh, let me try with Zurich and uh, run the same test. So it's just to show you how the result pop-ups and it gets only the runtime data. So you can have a look on the runtime data sheet anyways, so which will show you that what we have extracted and when it comes to this, yes it is Frankfurt and Zurich. And that was taken actually from the application, not from the script, because we have referred to the property of that particular object, which from which it should generally extract the information. So that's from the output value, and we were trying to understand standard output value today. Moreover, we'll be having all different output values coming one after the other, so stay tuned for that. In case you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe, which will help you to get quick notifications as well as uh, latest updates on the series, which will help you to be in, tech, in tune with what we are trying to do on a daily basis. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep practicing. Thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.